What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys my photo studio that I've gone ahead and built in the garage here at my brand new house. I'm gonna be doing just a quick little walkthrough so you guys can kind of understand what the space looks like and why this is significant for me and my photography. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. The reason that this studio space is pretty important to me is because now I have a dedicated space for me to go and do any of my photography work. Before I had this space, I would just clear a corner of my room or shoot primarily outside uh, because I didn't like setting up the entire shoot and then having to tear it back down once I was done. But now that I have a dedicated space for that, I don't really have to do that. Um, one of the best things about this studio space is that it is right here in my house. Um, so I don't have to pay any extra amount of money to actually have it um, And it is a pretty big space too. So kind of a win-win for me, but uh, Let me just go ahead and show you guys some footage of what it looks like So when you first walk into the studio space, you can come in through either the garage door or one of the side doors You'll notice that it's pretty empty and there's not really that much stuff in there and that's because of the I don't really like to keep a bunch of equipment um, that I don't really need. Um, the only things I really need are like tripods and lights, so that's essentially all that there is in there. And one of the corners of the studio is essentially just storage. Um, and over here is where I keep all of my tripods and all of my accessories for the models to use during the photo shoots and any spare bulbs or anything. It does look kind of messy right now and I do plan on getting some kind of storage unit or something to kind of clean up that area a little bit maybe like a shelving unit but as of right now i just kind of use that as like a little storage area i do plan on getting like a clothing rack to go in that corner as well just for when models come over and they have multiple outfits they can just hang up their outfits on the clothing rack um, but for right now i don't have that so after that little area there is some more storage which is kind of where i keep all the seating arrangements so i have a couple of like stools that models can sit on um, that's both seating for me and for the models it's kind of just there in case anyone needs to sit down after that you come over to the quote-unquote black corner this was kind of like the first part of the entire garage and it was just a little corner piece that I painted it black just because I thought it would look nice it does look nice but I mean at the end of the day I could have probably gone without painting it black just because I got a backdrop anyways this corner is mainly used for when I do like some um, specific lighting and I, I don't want there to be any reflections on the wall so I'll just shoot in this corner and because it's black it won't reflect the light so um, it does have its purpose but probably could have gone without it and the bread and butter of my studio is the actual like studio part of it which is this nice little backdrop that i picked up at a local uh, photography store shout out to nelson's photography in san diego i do have some lights that i'm borrowing from my roommates until i get my own um, the only reason i haven't ordered any um, studio lights is just because I didn't really know which ones to buy, but I do have some coming on the way tomorrow, so um, That'll be fun. I'm gonna get some gel packs as well. So um, I do have a 107 inch by like 35 foot backdrop, but I do plan on getting extra ones just to have multiple variety and colors They are seamless um, They're the really long paper ones and the reason I got the seamless ones is just because I feel like it opens up the creativity a little bit more um, than the normal backdrops do. That was the entire space. Like I said, this video was kind of just a quick little video to show you guys the space. It's the reason I'm not getting too in depth with it is just because it's not really done yet. Um, I do have some things I want to add to the studio space for it to be completely finished. And once it is finished, I will make an updated video. I'll be uploading some behind the scenes of my first photo shoot that I did in the studio. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy it. So if you guys like this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe and comment what you guys thought. Um, if you aren't already, go ahead and follow me on Instagram at Waldo in Wisconsin. And if you like my work, go ahead and purchase some of my prints over on my website at moodydarkroom.com. All right. So thank you guys again for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. All right. Bye.